Hello, hi, this is uh, Cairo. Welcome to our webinar, right? So this particular webinar title, Why Innovate, right? So as usual, corporate culture is dead, real innovation culture instead, right? So why innovate, why innovate? If I could share a little bit more, um, prepare some slides to guide our presentation today, my chat, let me just bring that up. Hope you are well. Thank you for joining. Uh, this is an interesting uh, session. Why innovate? You know, everybody's talking about innovation. But interestingly, interestingly, when we look at um, LinkedIn, one of the main networking platform, yeah, with so many people over there. Apparently, LinkedIn has about one billion users, right? But a topic on Innovation apparently only has 13k followers, right? When I've been writing on here as well in the last thing one year, it used to be 9k, 10k, you know, I think uh, now it's 13k. Let's look at other uh, LinkedIn skill pages, you know. Let's take a look at them and see where is innovation, right? I suspect, I suspect from the work that I did with some of my clients uh, and also my networking on LinkedIn, I write quite a bit on my blog, uh, on this webinar. I think that people or organizations don't quite understand what innovation, what more business innovation. Yeah? Let's take a look at this. Thinking skills on LinkedIn, 152K followers. Strategic thinking with something that people are more familiar, 711,000. Design thinking, something that I'm facilitating currently with some of my clients. With the outcome, some of them want to learn design thinking, but more on the business innovation, use design thinking as a tool. Another is creative problem solving with something that people could relate and understand, right? But business innovation is only to think key. That shows there's a dire need to understand why do we need to innovate in the first place, right? So if you look at this, uh, June 2024, actually I just got this uh, two days ago from World Economic Forum. WF. When you talk about innovation, there are actually many aspects of innovation. Sustainable development, education, agile governance, science, what else? Blockchain, IoT, economic progress, 3D printing, they are artificial intelligence, right? Let me take you to the interactive format of this map, right? So then we understand a little bit more what is innovation? Why do we need to innovate? Right? I hope you can see this. You had a panel. Right, when we talk about innovation, there are five main items outlined by World Economic Forum. Open innovation, innovation ecosystem, business model innovation, technology innovation, and social innovation. Social innovation come around, I think, about 10 years ago. I mean, in, in my country, Malaysia, and more active, especially after the pandemic. So let's look at open innovation. Right there, are a lot more stuff over there, as you can see, you know, AI, biotech, semiconductors, future of work, circular economy, longevity, aging. Basically, you open up your platform, you invite other people to join in. That's one part of it, right? The other one is innovation ecosystem, right? Where you look at the entire ecosystem uh, from idea creation to uh, idea, the end of your idea you know, or solution, uh, the next cycle. The, the, the ideator, the player, the funding, the competitor, the supply chain, the executive, the management, competition, Talent, workforce, all this. 
And then let's look at business model innovation. That is something that is uh, crucial. They are business model, they are dead, just like the corporate culture. I think corporate culture is dead. So you look at the business model innovation, you look into retail, emerging market, economic progress, uh, digital communications. Technology innovation, this is, I think, where most people think what innovation is. Technology, as you can see, AI, semiconductors, 3D printing, retail, sorry, uh, the one in black, yeah? advanced materials, and social innovation, um, right? Future of work, circular economy, aging, vaccination, justice and law, entrepreneurship, sustainable development, you know, there are many others. So, in terms of innovation as a big topic, they are almost hundreds subtopic around them, right? And this is where innovation gets so confusing, I can imagine, right? And this is where the opportunity lies. In our business, in our organizations, these are the these are the features that you can see on my screen. So what are you doing about it? If you are concerned about what's next uh, in your business, so what are you going to do about it, right? So this is where the opportunity to innovate. When you look at that area, I'm sure there are one or two areas, or probably more than five, that you realize you got to work on this part. So how are you going to do it? How are you going to translate that thinking of yours, if you are the top management, to the rest of your minus one, minus two, your general managers, senior managers, what more the, the talents that you have, right? So let's do a little bit of some technology innovation stuff, since many of us think that innovation is technology. I'm sure you've heard about ChatGPT. Let's ask ChatGPT why innovate. No? I have I prepared for you all actually just now. So innovation is essential for certain reasons. Number one, competitive advantage. Right. Number two, customer satisfaction. Number three, efficiency and productivity. I don't want to explain everything. Yeah, I'm sure you could relate to these words. You can uh, change GPT too, right? Adaptability, problem solving, which I think many are targeting this part. If no problems, no need to innovate. And we only innovate when there's problems. But when you look at the innovation in the WEF just now, it is more about, sorry, it's not about now. It's about tomorrow and the future, right? So you innovate for the future, but you got to start now for growth and expansion, employee engagement, right, which is, and also retention, right? Reputation and brand image, sustainability, economic growth, right? In summary, yada, yada, yada. So in other words, you innovate, not because you only have a problem, not because you feel there's a technology booming. You innovate for all combination of these reasons. And you're doing it for the future. Not for today, one more, not for yesterday. Right? So truly, you innovate because you strongly believe that you can impact better than today in business and society. Right? This is something that I strongly feel why we should innovate. Because you can do better. It could be the customer, it could be the satisfaction, it could be the talent, it could be the business. It can be anything. Or it could be also the problem. So because you strongly believe that you can impact better from your business or for yourself as a person, if you are the owner or if you are the employee, if you are the management, you can impact better. That's why you innovate, right? So I hope this video has been helpful for you to get some inspiration why that you need to innovate. And for those of you who are taking the course on innovation literacy, I hope you enjoy the session. You can also download some materials 
on design thinking, which is one of the tools, very easy tools for you to understand, to use and explore this realm of innovation. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the session, although it's a little bit... Uh, small that I expected, that I, I've targeted, but thank you so much. And hopefully the calling for innovation in one of those areas would uh, help us to understand a bit better how we can impact the business and society through innovation. Thank you. Bye-bye. Corporate culture is dead. Build innovation culture instead. Thank you.